Milanese. No? 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 <coughs> this, uh, the, no? about the karma, the Buddha, no? he wants to, to, uh, the, to go to the, no? the, uh, the, the, to the, no? to the real thing, which, which is uh, the responsible for this karma. No? Oh, maybe I cannot say it very, very much in detail. Now, let, let's go to, uh, to the next one. Now, the karmas are, are produced by these moral minds and immoral minds, and they exist in our mental stream. They start producing their result, starting from this existence. And in every future existence, whenever they get the chance, they will produce their result. How do they produce their result? So, no, the Buddha, he said, no, karma will produce its result as it is formed, in the way it is formed. So that means if you kill, no, like a chicken, you will be killed, no, just like you kill the chicken for many, many existences. So in science we have no, to every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. We have the law no, in science. So here also, to every action, no, there will be no, an equal and opposite reaction. But this no, reaction will come not once. It will come a billion times. So that is no, the, the strange, no, the, what we should know about the karma. No, because why we are killing no, that one chicken. So no, the immoral minds arise by no, the, the many billions. So each you know, the immoral karma can produce a new existence where you will be killed no, by cutting the throat as you cut the, the, the throat of that. So that means it can produce a billion existence, you can be killed a billion existences. So again, when you donate, no, donate money. Say, no, do that. Uh, do the do the, uh, the meditation center. So we say, if you donate one dollar, no, you will get no, the, a, a check of a, a billion dollar in every of your new existence. <laughs> so how can it be? You might say. No, so again, no, why we are donating no, that dollar? Billions of moral minds arise and billions of moral karma no, deposited in your mind. So each no, karma will produce no, the, a blissful existence. So as you have donated money, you will get money back. <laughs> but not only one dollar, it would be a billion dollar. So in that case, no, we should practice donation no, no, as much as possible actually. No. So during the time when the Buddha was no, in the Jitavana monastery, three men came almost simultaneously. So one man said, so the, the Reverend, no, the, the Buddha, Reverend Buddha, I passed the city gate. A house by the, no, near the, of the, the, that city gate no, caught fire. And a grass ring, a grass ring that they used to put the pot on. No, caught fire, and with the no, with the power of the fire, the force of the fire, it was it flew up high to the sky, and a, a crow was flying very high in the sky. This burning grass ring, no, got into the neck of that uh, that crow, and that crow was burned to death. Then another man uh, that he also no, told the Buddha. So, dear Buddha, I came back from the overseas no, just recently. So, our sailing ship, no, they took about 700 no, passengers. So, soon after they left the, the harbor and they got to the middle of the ocean, the, the ship stand, stood still, cannot be moved by any, they put on all the sail, so the, the ship will not move. So then the chief navigator no, told the passengers, now we cannot move the ship by any way. There must be a person with very, no, the highness deed on the ship. So we have to find out that person 
no, by drawing lots, and then no, we should throw that person no, into the sea no, for the survival of all the rest. So would you agree? So all, the, all agree. So they, they try no, to draw the lot. So the wife of the chief navigator got the bad lot. Got the bad lot. And as she was, no, she looked very pretty, very simple, no, and very, very calm. So the, the, no, the, the navigator, the, the travelers, they took pity on her. They said, oh, we should not decide just by, by, by one drawing. No? So it is very serious. We should draw another time, they said. Now the second time, she got the bad lot again. And they did the third time, she got the bad lot again. So no? there is no, the, 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 now they, no, they tied a pot filled with sand on the neck of that, uh, that lady, and they threw, threw her down. As soon as she, she was thrown into the sea, the ship moved. The ship moved, and we got to our destination. Now we came back, no, the, that, person, uh, that man said. And another man said, oh, I came no, uh, the, through the forest so, no, the, by a mountain. So no, at one place, seven traveling monks, no, they saw a cave on the side of the, uh, of the mountain, and they went in to take a rest. As soon as they got inside, a big stone rolled down from the top of the hill and closed this entrance. They cannot move it away. And they called for help. Nobody heard them. So they had to stay in the, in the cave for seven days without food and without any water. And on the eighth day, that rock grew away by itself so they could come out. So what is the causes of these things? So they asked the Buddha. So the Buddha said, Sabi sata kamasaka kamam sati vipachati. All living beings have their kamas as their own possession. Now these kama, no, they did, uh, these kama determine the fates and destinies of living beings in various, in various ways. So they asked the Buddha to explain more. So the Buddha said that crow, no, that crow was a farmer in the previous life, and he could not, no, the use one bow, no, one bow very wide. He could not, no, make it to work, and finally he was very angry. So he tied a bunch of, no, the uh, straw on the neck of the. the, the that, uh, that bow, and then he set the, the, the straw into fire. So, you know, that, uh, and he let, he let free that bow. So that bow, you know, it was burned in the neck, so it ran, 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 ran. Finally, it died. So now it became a crow now. Even it, <laughs> it flew very high in the sky, that grass ring, burning grass ring, got into his, uh, into, into his neck and burned him to death just as he had burned that bow to death. Now about that, no, the, the wife of the chief navigator. In her previous life, she was a village girl, no, very pretty no, village girl. And she had no, a very young dog. No? And whenever she, uh, she went, that, that young dog always no, they follow her. So no, other boys no, who saw her, so they, they make a joke at her. Now no, the huntress is going to, uh, to hunt no, for, for, for food. So this evening we are going to eat very good meat, they say. So she was ashamed. You know, to, and then the next time when she went out, she tried to drive away no, that, that little, uh, little dog, not to follow her. But the, the, the dog no, kept on following her. She tried to beat her, still following her. And she didn't know the dog was, no, the dog was the no, her lover, who recently died, and he became a, uh, a dog now, and he rem he remember no the no, she was is uh, no it's sweetheart, so the dog tried to follow her she didn't know, so now she became angry, 
So when you became angry, you cannot think clearly anymore. And you become very cruel oh, when you're angry. So she tied a small pot filled with art to the neck of the, 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 the little dog and no, threw it down into a ditch water. So the dog was drowned to death. So now she had been thrown, <laughs> thrown away <laughs> into the sea. No, the, same, the same thing happened. And about those, uh, the seven monks, the, uh, the Buddha said, previously, in the previous life, they were you know, the cow huts. They look after their, you know, their many cattle. So one day, when they were about to come home, they saw a monitor lizard getting into a mound. You know, into a mound. So they closed you know, the, the hole you know, with the branches of the, the you know, some, uh, some branches. So they don't have time to, to, to catch. So they say they will catch tomorrow, not this uh, the morning uh, lizard. So no, they went home, and the next day they changed uh, no, their grassland. The grassland, they went to the new grassland, and then they, they let the, uh, the, the cattle graze in that grassland for seven days. Only on the eighth day they came back to this grassland. Now when they saw the mound, they remember <laughs> the, 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 about the monitor, the lizard. So they said, now we are going to catch it now. So no, they, they wait with the stick and they took out the, the, those branches. So the lizard, as it, it didn't have food for seven days, very thin and very feeble, came out very super feeble. They took pity on them, they don't kill them. So the same thing, they have the same fate, you know, to, to remain in the cave for seven days. So no, it was set. No, neither in the sky, nor, nor in the ocean, nor in the cave of a mountain. No, is there a safe place where you can escape from the consequence of an immoral action, an evil action? No, that's very correct. No, this karma, no, the karma law, no, the karma law, it, op it is a natural law. It is the property of the mind, the property of the mind. And this law is very, very powerful. It, doesn't, it does not give any favor to anyone. It always you know, the operated you know, the just fully you know, and naturally. So, and in its own fee, and it is not controlled by any almighty God. And it is very powerful, the Buddha said. No, nobody can stop it. Even the Buddha cannot stop it. The Buddha himself, even when he got, he became a Buddha. No, he had like the waist pain <laughs> very often. <laughs> and uh, when he was about to pass away, also he has diarrhea. So these are uh, no, the, the result of the bad karma, actually. He could not stop them. And then no, the venerable Ma Mokgalana, no, whenever Moglana, no, he is the, the, the foremost in supernormal power. No, he is a chief disciple of the Buddha and foremost in supernormal power. No, no, and he can also no, the tame no, that very fierce dragon. No, the dragon, he can, he can tame them. But he had made no, one very bad uh, evil thing. So no, when he uh, even in this no, in the pre uh, in, uh, in one life, he was looking after two blind parents, and the blind parents, no, the, the the mother especially to her, my son, you have to walk in the forest the whole day, and you have to attend to us. No, you better get married, and she he refused at first. But the mother no, tried to negotiate one lady and uh, uh, got his son married to that lady. And that lady, she was pleased to look after this, no, the blind, no, the parents only for seven days. Then she was not pleased anymore. So no, she, tr uh, she tried to persuade the, the, her husband no, to get rid of the, the, the two blind parents. 
So the uh, the you know, the, the mok moklana at that at that is uh, he didn't take notice. Uh, he didn't pay attention to this. So he just you know, went on his walk regularly. But the lady, you know, every day, she tried to spread all, all, all the you know, boy rice to, to over the house. So when you know, the man came back, who spread these things? Who, you know, who can be your parents uh, spread them? I cannot live with them anymore. So on the other side, she tried you know, to, 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 to make her husband to love her in many ways. So when the, the lady, you know, the, the wife, persuaded him you know, every day, then she insisted that she would go away if the, the, you know, she, he, got, he would not get rid of the, the, the blind parents. So you know, that man, he told his blind parents, we are going to visit the relatives in the next, uh, in the next town. So you know, they, uh, they asked them to get onto the cart. And he drove into the forest, and then he beat you know, the, the two parents himself. So you know, he shouted as if you know, the, 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 the decoy, the robbers were beating, beating them. So the parents didn't know. So you know, they, they thought the robbers were beating, beating them. They said, my son, my son, don't worry about us. We were already you know, old. So you just try to, to escape. So he beat them to death and threw them you know, on the you know, on the bush and he came home. So no again when you are very much in love you know, with your with your wife and the wife insisted so many times then you know, so again he became blind, killing his parents. So how long can he enjoy with his wife? No, so our life is very short. No, so our life is very short. It is compared to a bubble that arise in the sea just for a moment. No, just our human hundred years is equal to one day in Tabdim Saram. So no, even if we live up to no, hundred years, only one day in celestial realm. So very short. So when you kill your parents, when you die, you go to the awijik hell, the worst hell. So he had to suffer there for, no, for many years, for a long time. So torture, very you know, the terribly, he has to die many existences. Not just like you are, no, you are born dead, born dead, born dead, just like that. No, many existences. Even after he escaped no, from there, so he, he regained human existences, still he was beaten no, to death until his bones were crushed into powder for 100 existences. Now even in this, you know, the, his final existence as the Mahamogalana, you know, as Arahat, he became Arahat, very, very powerful. But even in this existence, no, he found that he could not stop 500 thieves beating him to death again until his bones were crushed to, no, to, to pebbles. So no, this karma, very, very strong. So we have to understand no, the karma in this effect to get no, the, the right view. So only if you have the right view no, and you make the right view as your guiding star, then you can develop the right thought, the right speech, the right action, the right livelihood, and the right living in, in daily life. Now, now, when we know about karma in existence, and we also know, know how moral minds can arise, and how immoral minds also arise, then we can live, know, we can live wisely and beneficially to develop moral minds most of the time. So no, if you know Abhidhamma, no, you can live with moral minds most of the time. Most of the time. No, if you don't know Abhidhamma, as I told you, no, you are blind. No, you are blind. And you are just no, the trying to, to enjoy sense pleasure, to get money. So you are walking, walking the whole day. So that means you live mostly with immoral mind. Mostly with immoral mind. Now, if you don't know the teaching of the Buddha, nowadays people, they don't care about the, the meritorious anymore. 
So that means they are living only in moral minds, and they don't know they are going to the woeful state. So the Buddha, he described you know, 10 types of meritorious deeds that you know, we should uh, practice you know, in everyday life. So you know, we, we can summarize them into three groups. We call the dana group. No, dana group, dana means no, the donation. And then when you do the, 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 the donation, you also should, should do pati dana, sharing merit. And pata nu modana, no, appreciating, appreciating no, the, the good deeds of other people. No, appreciating. So there are three, three types here. So no, when we say when you do the na donation, no, even if you donate no, as much as a banyan seed, a banyan tree is big one, the seed is very small. Even if you donate no, like a banyan seed, you will get you know, the fruit, that, that is the result, you know, much more than the Ibanian tree, we say. <laughs> so that's why I say you donate one dollar and you get a billion dollar you know, in every future life. So, and this by donation, you, know, you can also go to the celestial realm to be born there. And if you practice you know, the, you know, the wisely, you can even attain enlightenment very soon. You know? So during the Buddha's time, there's a girl. No, she was, she had to look after their farm. So like the paddies were ripe and not under to, to guard them from the, the cattle coming in. She lived alone, just 16 years old she was. And she had to do popcorn. No, so she had to fry the, the, you know, the, 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 make the popcorn and just live on the popcorn. And one day, no, when Maha Kasapa, no, Mahakaspa is the third, the third most important monk, actually. After the two chief disciples, Mahakaspa is the chief one. No, he's going to, to, no, to do the first Buddhist council, actually. So he always no, he tried to develop extinction attainment. So no, when the, he is arahat and he attain all the jhanas, so they can no, develop the, the, like the, the jhana attainment to stay seven days at a time. And also extinction attainment, Niroda Samapati. So during this attainment, consciousness, mental factors, and mind-born materiality cease to arise. Cease to arise. Only other three types of materiality. No, we say heat-born materiality, and karma-born materiality, and nutriment-born materiality keep arising. So they like to, no, to, to enjoy this very often. So after seven days, he, he, no, he came out of that extinction attainment. He would go for arms food. So no, he always looked not to, to, not to honor the poor people. So one day he went to this farm. No, so this girl, she donated all the, the, the popcorn that she made for today. And she, was, no, she, she made the wish. So very important to make the wish when you do the meritorious deed. If you wish, oh, may I be you know, beautiful at every existence, you will be beautiful at every existence, but it will not be very wise. No? So what you should do here is now, she, she, is, she is not learned, so she said, may I know the, the Dhamma that you know. <laughs> so that is a very good <laughs> way of the, the making a wish. So then the Arahat, he knew all, all the Dhamma to, to, to become Arahat. So, no, the, when Kasapa, no, also, may your wishes be fulfilled and he returned. So very gladly, thinking of her, no, the, the donation, she tried to go back to the, the hut. But there's a wiper there. The wiper no, bit her and she fell down dead. But at the time of near death, she was very glad with, with the, the donation. So she was born in the Tavatim Saram, in a very big golden mansion. And the windows are decorated with the golden, uh, with, with silver popcorns. <laughs> so she was known as popcorn lady. So in Pali, we call her Lhasa Devi. No, that means popcorn lady, actually. So when you became the, the celestial realm, it is, we call a spontaneous rebirth. As soon as you die here, she, she was born there. 
So she, she could not remember the previous life. Oh, just by donating some popcorn, I got such, you know, very great, you know, the, 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 you know, the benefit. So I should keep on doing the, the meritorious deed. So you know, the, the celestial being, they could see. You know, the, the, our world, the human world, they could see. So she came down to the you know, when from her Kaspas monastery, tried to clean and then to fill up all the, the water. She was doing for three days. And then when, uh, when Kaspa discovered her, well, I am living alone here. No, so a lady cannot come to a monastery where one man, <laughs> one monk is, uh, is saying, you please go out. So she said, please let me do Mary to the street. I want to do Mary to the street, but you cannot do here. Please go out. So she, no, she, w she went, flew up, and then she wept. And the Buddha heard her weeping. So no, the Buddha no, sent out the rays, and the Buddha image appeared and gave a short Dhamma talk. My, d my daughter, no, my son, they have the Vinaya rule to obey. No, and then you, who perform meritorious deeds, have the duty to keep on uh, the doing meritorious deeds. And he continued with a few, no, a few that the Dhamma, the Samon, she became a noble person. So no, even by donation, it can help you to become enlightened as a noble person. No? And then, no, when you share merit, you multiply your, no, your, your good deed. You multiply your good deed. And those who can say sadhu, 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 also get no, those, those mer uh, the merit. No, one time, Mahamoglana went to the Tabdim Saram. He, he went to up to the Tabdim Saram very often. Also to the woeful boats very often. What for, you may ask, for interview. <laughs> he may interview. So he was uh, interviewed. Those, what did you do in the past? You to get such, no, uh, such uh, the great, uh, the, no, the benefits. So they would, they un they could uh, tell him they are, no, they are married to the state. And he went to the woeful people and he asked them. Some of them are born also by spontaneous rebirth. They remember their past, no, the past existences. So they they told about their bad deeds. So when he came to the human realm, he told the people about this, so the people were very interested about karma and result. So another time when he went there, oh, this very, you know, this splendid, the, the mansion. So he said, I, I have to ask this, uh, the owner. So he approached, and the owner lady you know, came out. So he asked, what did, did you do you get to get such a very beautiful big mansion? Well, when the, you know, Wisaka, no, donated the no, donated a monastery, no, she called it Puparum Puparama, to the Buddha. She shared merit, and I, no, the, I very joyfully rejoice her merit, saying Sadhu Sadhu Sadhu. So I got this, <laughs> this big mention, <laughs> so <laughs> at no cost. <laughs> So in Buddhism, we don't need to, to spend any money to get uh, to get the uh, to get the merit. No? If you know very easy, you can get it. To so the second group, we say the sila group. No, sila is morality. No, so again, they are it in, it includes three meditative states. So sila is observing five precepts, eight precepts, ten precepts. If you can, uh, if you can, and then the apajayana means paying respect to the not to your parents, to your teachers, to the elders and the holy persons. No, even paying respect, no, you get no great merit as much as you observe sila. So no, in the canon it mentioned that one monk, no, she pay, he pay, no, joyfully homage to a Buddha, just one. And just by this merit he was born no, in the blissful realm. 100,000 existences. Just imagine how much <laughs> the great benefit you got. And then also, uh, not the Vaya Vacha. Vaya Vacha is doing the, the not Vaya Vacha is volunteer service in married to the state. Not just like in cooking, uh, like arranging all these, uh, how that for the Dhamma talk to, to uh, So these, uh, they also bring very great merit. 
No, as I told you, this uh, the morality, sila is no, very, very noble, noble meritorious state. No, it's just observing five precepts. No, so you cause no harm to any living beings. You allow all living beings to live very peacefully and happily. And we said you develop the highest morality. So just by keeping five precepts, no, you, you observe the highest morality. No, so it's very, very good. Just like the Western people, no, the, the London people, they say morality is no, the most important in life. They used to say three words, no, three, uh, three speeches. When wealth is lost, nothing is lost, they say. No, so when wealth is lost, you can walk again to get wealth back. No, don't worry, they say. And the second, they say, when health is lost, something is lost, but not everything is lost. Health is very important no, to live happily, to work, and also to do meritorious deeds. No? And then the third, they say, when character is lost, everything is lost. It is correct. No? So if you, no, you, you transgress, no? you commit all the evil actions, no, like killing, you know, the, no, the stealing, cheating, no, and then taking drinks and drugs, etc. Then you are an outcast. You are an outcast. No, nobody no, will, no, will associate with you. And then when you die, you will go to hell again. So that means you lost everything. No? And again, this meritorious deeds, no, even five precepts, if you observe very, very no, the carefully and you keep it, no, body, not very well. Then you enjoy very, very great benefits. So again, we re we read a story, no, by the name of Pancha Sila Samadhaniya Thira. So Thira means he was uh, he was an arhat during our Buddha's time. So no one thousand one asankhya, one asankhya means one incalculable aeon. We say. And 100,000 war cycles ago, very long ago, a normal Dasi Buddha appeared in the world. So at that time, a poor worker, he wanted you not know, to, to make donation, but he didn't have any money, so he could not make it. No? And then he has the chance to listen to the teaching of the Buddha, the Dhamma talk of the Buddha. So the Buddha, no, preach about the, the, the first noble truth, the noble truth of suffering. So he wanted you know, to escape from this, the realm of suffering. So he tried to observe moral precept. No, five moral precept. So he took it from a, you know, from, the, the, from a monk and he kept it very respectfully and carefully for the whole life. And you know, by the great merit that she got, so when she died, she was born in celestial realms and human realms for the whole period of one asankhya and 100,000 war cycles that mean uncountable existences. Never was he, you know, he born in the woeful state. And even you know, he was born as the, the king of you know, the celestial being, as Sekka, 30 existences. And as universal monarchs, 75 existences. And ordinary gains, uncountable existences. And in the last existence, during our Buddha's time, he became a, Buddha, uh, a rich man's son. No? So Mahasala, rich people, they call the, their family. So only when he was five years, his parents were taking five precepts as the wasa approaches. So no, they try to, to observe five precepts no, uh, uh, just before the, the you know, since the time that the, the, the wasa approaches. So when they are reciting no, the, about the, 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 no, the taking the five precepts, so this boy, he remember, he remember no, the, the, the time that he kept the five precepts very pure. So when he remember that, no, joy arises. And from joy, no, the, the sukha, happiness and from happiness no, he got concentration arises and from concentration then no, he got no, the very high concentration 
and then the wisdom arises. And then even at that in that set day, he became an arahat. So no, the, when we can maintain morality very pure, we can easily be no, the, uh, the converted into noble persons. So no, we should, we should no, the, keep the five precepts at least no, very, very pure in our life. And we also no, should keep the three four noble, uh, no, the no, three four refuge, no, taking the the, the Buddha, the, uh, the Dhamma, the Sangha, no, as the, the the objects of veneration. Buddham saranam gacchami, Dhammam saranam gacchami, Samkham saranam gacchami. Three four refuge. No, so even by three four refuge, we are uh, guarantee not to be reborn in the no, in the uh, in the woeful state when we die no, very very good now the best no, the the meditative state is meditation no we call bhavana in pali so in this meditation group no, again we have four types of no, the meditative state one is listening to the dhamma no, so when we listen to the dhamma when we hear the teachings of the Buddha, then no, we get very, very precious knowledge. No, just like, uh, like tonight, no, if you understand very well, then no, if you can keep like the, like the Rifu, Rifu, and the Panja Sila very pure, then you will have very, very great merit already. So Dhamma Savana, no, the listening to the Dhamma is very, very great merit. And the second one is Dhamma Desana, if you can teach the Dhamma, you get greater merit. So they say, just by listening to the Dhamma for one hour, you will not be born in the woeful state for nine war cycles. If you can teach the Dhamma for one hour, you will not be born in the woeful state for uncountable war cycles. So how nice. Try to learn the Vidama <laughs> and try to teach also. <laughs> And the third one is no, the Samatha Bhavana, Tranquility Meditation. So the Buddha, he described 40 subjects no, for developing concentration. No, so after we observe moral morality, no, we should develop the concentration. No, so, so to attain the higher, the higher, the merit actually. No? So in this four, no, the 40, the meditation subject, the Buddha, he also included no, the four, no, they call it Sabbataka Samatana, four guardian meditation to guard us from all dangers no, in, in everyday life, from all dangers, no, from, the, from wicked people, from the wild bees, etc. No, and like, like the car accident nowadays, very, you know, very, very often. So, you know, to guard you and also to guard you from the being born in a woeful state. So these four garden meditation, very, very you know, deep, deep beneficial and we should practice them you know, as much as possible. The first one is radiating loving kindness. Just wish you know, all living beings to be happy and well. So, you know, when you, in the morning, when you say prayers, you take three, four refuge, five precepts, and then you also recite you know, the attributes of the Buddha, the Dhamma, the Sangha, by you know, developing respect to all the triple gem. So you get you know, great merit already. Then you don't you know, try to radiate loving kindness. May all living beings be happy and well. You know, may all living beings be happy and well. Very sincerely wishing all the people all living beings to be happy and well. So you should also make it you know, a habit, not to radiate loving kindness as much as possible. So when you're, you know, say, you know, walking home or driving the car, riding the M, uh, M MTR or MRT, <laughs> MRT, you know? so you know, now when I ride you know, MRT one time here, you know, so a few times here, I noticed that now many the ladies, and uh, including the, the boys and the men, as soon as they got into MRT, they tried the uh, iPod and iPhone, iPad, you know, oh, just wasting the time. You know? So just that is also sense pleasure. You no, know, 
No, you just doing that, only immoral minds will be arising during that time. So your time is very precious. No, just if you just, no, during that time, you just uh, really loving kindness, may all living beings be happy and well. You get billions of good karma every second. No, very nice. And another one is no, reflecting the attitude of the Buddha. Nine attributes, try to choose anyone you like. No, so Araham is the first one. So you can also reflect Araham, Araham, Araham. No, visual, visualizing the Buddha that you have seen. No, then you just reflect no, the Araham, Araham. And you should also know the, name, the meaning. Araham means the Buddha is the purest. No, he's, he could no, get rid of totally all those defilement. So totally pure. And because of that, he is the noblest. And because of that, he is most worthy of veneration. So Araham, the noblest, and most worthy of veneration. Just understand like that. Araham, Araham, Araham. Billions of good karma, every <laughs> recitation, Araham, Araham. So we say one step. No, we what a billion dollars. No, so one step. One billion, no, the good karma. So no, we can get the, no, the good merit the good karma very easily. So no, the, to know it is no, important. And then no, we just uh, uh, take these tools, it's good enough. No? And then we say you should also do vipassana meditation. And actually, for vipassana meditation, no, we have to, un to undertake this tranquility meditation until we can develop the jhana. So when we come to the state of the jhana, the mind becomes pure. No, so uh, like now, why, why we are listening to the, no, the the dhamma? Our mind is mo the moral mind, so it is pure. No, it is free from all defilement. It is pure, but you no, know, those latent defilement they, they start popping up as soon as you lose uh, the mindfulness. So they will pop up in your in your you know, in your mind. So we call them the, the, no, the moderate defilements. And they hinder the development of moral minds, jhana, mega. So if you get them, you, you cannot you know, do, do vipassana meditation. So only when you attain the jhana, so these are the jhana chaita, not the higher, not the consciousness. So your, your mind can remain focused on that meditation subject for one hour, two hours, etc. So if you practice well, they say, you can even remain you know, for seven days at a time, they say, without eating, drinking, without going to the toilet. And you just remain very blissfully for seven days, just imagine. No? So the jhana bliss is very, very high. Much, much superior than sensual pleasure. Sensual pleasure is just a low form. No? So you have to give, up, uh, to give up that enjoyment of sense pleasure. Only then you can develop the jhana. No? The, the jhana. And then you enjoy greater pleasure, greater bliss. So no? to, to enjoy greater bliss, you have to get rid of the smaller bliss. <laughs> smaller bliss. No? So you should do it, actually. And now when we come across with the Buddha's no? the teaching, and we also have the teachers who can teach you, you know, vipassana meditation. And you know, we can, if we can attain the right the jhana concentration, we can continue with vipassana meditation. You know, then we can even develop the, you know, we say, so uh, can you raise the, 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 the chat a little bit? Can you raise the chat? The chat, the chat, the jita chat. So these, uh, no, with these are the jhana jeta, five and four. They are jhana jeta. These are logutra kusla jeta, supra mundane moral consciousness. No, they, they are the no, the part consciousness and trusian consciousness. So if you attain no, the even the first part consciousness, then you will get the trusian consciousness immediately after the part consciousness. You become a stream winner. So when you become a stream winner, you are guaranteed never to be reborn in the bofo state again. 
So, you know, to become a stream winner is much better than you know, to become you know, like a Brahma or a universal monarch or the king of devas. Because if the Brahma and the, the king of deva and the, you know, the universal monarchs, they are not noble person, they will not escape from being reborn in the woeful state. But if you are a stream winner, no, you are guaranteed never to be reborn. No? And no, you can also enjoy no, the, like the sense pleasure with your family. You can stay on. You can be reborn even up to seven existences in the, in the sense, uh, sense sphere. No? Like human beings and celestial beings enjoying sense pleasure. And also you can enjoy Nibbana bliss as much as you like. No? So, if you can become a stream winner, I think that is no, it is uh, the, the, the best life that we can attain at the present time. No? Even you, you don't do any further meditation, don't worry. Because once you are a stream winner, you will never be reverted back to evolving again. You will always no, be progress. And slowly you will attain the higher no, the path consciousness fusion consciousness, and finally you will become arahat, and you can go to nibbana, and join in eternal peace forever. So, you know, as we come across the Buddha's teaching, and we have the best life at the present time, and the best opportunity to undertake you know, this threefold training that we call training of morality, training of concentration, and training of wisdom. You know, the training of wisdom. So the wisdom that associate with this you know, supra mundane consciousness are the highest wisdom. So you know, these wisdom they understand the four noble truths, you no know, very very you know, penetratively and com comprehensively. So they can eliminate you know, those defilement you know, that we call greed, anger, ignorance, totally, totally eliminated. So you will be you know, when you become arahat, we say. One of the noblest person, a perfect person, you know, who could enjoy the Dibbana bliss you know, for all the time. So, you, know, we, you know about Abhidhamma now. You know, Abhidhamma actually, you know, it tells everything that we should know in life. You know, and it also tells us how to live wisely and most beneficially. No, to develop moral minds by performing this meritorious deeds. And if you can do this, no, the meditation, like we say, no, the loving, uh, radiating loving kindness and the reflecting on the attribute of the Buddha, so you can do this meditation most of the time. While you are lying, while you are sleeping, you, you can just do that. So when you attain the higher meditation, you can also do that. No, whenever you go, you can do them. So, no, in the case of meditation, you can develop moral minds most of the time. And then, no, you can get billions of the good karma most of the time. So, no, you, you can be sure, just by your effort in this life, you will live happily for the rest of all your lives, not till you attain the banner. And to live with the noble minds, we should also understand no, the, these ultimate realities that you know, the true nature of existence, you know, that we are not actually permanent, and life is just suffering, and there is not self, no I, no I, no you actually, you know, and then you know, no one is beautiful, and we uh, you know, there is, are the subject to impermanent suffering and non-self. So you know, if we can reflect on this, now, wisely, we can also develop moral minds. So, when you are in your daily life, no, so try to make it a habit to live with the moral minds, and not not to allow the immoral minds to arise. No, so it depends on your attitude, attitude and your reflection. So, if you are no, the thinking, oh, I have so many things to do every day. Oh, I have to do no, the, the, the cooking, or the washing, or the cleaning, and walking no, the, the, every week, and then also over time walking, 
So, no, if by those or the, no, the extra work you have to do, no, you don't feel happy, no, then you are developing immoral minds. As soon as you become unhappy, it will develop moral mi immoral mind. So try to make wise reflection. No, so I have the chance no, to work. So if I get money, I can support no, my parents, my children, and also no, I can do donation. So I can make a lot, a lot of meritorious deeds. So when you are, no, you are the doing the, 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 the work at home, so oh, it's very good for me to have the chance not to clean the clothes of my parents, the clothes of my, my, no, my the children, and to cook for them. So no, if you can make the wise reflection, we are, get, we are developing moral minds all the time. So no, my last advice for you is try to learn Abhidhamma no, and use Abhidhamma knowledge in the everyday life no, to lead a pure, noble, happy, and most beneficial life no, in this existence. May you be happy and well always, and may you learn Abhidhamma, and may you attain enlightenment very soon. Well, question time. <laughs> if no, someone would like to ask question to know something, you are welcome. So, try to see that. <laughs> I have taught Abhidhamma several times in this no, meditation center and other places, no, like in the Mingala Vihara. So the, uh, the day, the time I had the chance to teach in Mingala Vihara, no, it's very good at that time. No? So they also made the right transmission no, they to the internet. So I think it is recorded quite well. I didn't get uh, the, the copy of that yet. <laughs> So it is very good for the teaching at that time. So in January, I may be coming back again. So no, the, the I have been invited by the Indonesian group so to teach in five cities, no, the biggest cities in the, <laughs> the Indonesia. So we have very good good group there. They are very interested in Abhidhamma now. <laughs> so after that, I will come to, the, no, the, the, to here again. And then uh, Joshua is going to arrange the, you know, the Abhidhamma class here and also another place to teach in English. So he said it is the Vietnamese group, he said. <laughs> so if you are interested, you know, if you would like to en the enjoy to attend the Abhidhamma class, so you can join that class, you know, that class. So I also have recording you know, my teaching in the English, the Abhidhamma, you know, the, the recording I also have. Okay, so no question, we say prayers. Imaya Dhamma Nu Dhamma Bhati Bhati Ya Bhutam Bhujemi Imaya Dhamma Nu Dhamma Bhati Bhati Ya Dhammam Bhujemi Imaya Dhamma Nu Dhamma Pati Pati Samkham Bujemi With our holy practice which is in accord with the nine supramundane Dhammas, we pay obeisance to the Buddha, the Dhamma, and the Sangha. Idhamme Punyam Asvekhaya Vaham Hatu. May these merits of mine lead me to the extinction of all defilements. Idam me punyam Nibbanasa Pacheyo Hatu. May these merits of mine be conducive to my attainment of Nibbana. 
imam no punya bagam sabah sada nam dima imam no punya bagam sabah sada nam dima imam no punya bagam sabah sada nam dima we share our merits with all sentient beings may all sentient beings obtain the share of our merits and be well and happy always satu 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 if you do if you want to 